All right, everyone, it is me, Jensen Chan. Uh, looks like I kind of knocked the camera around a little bit, so I had to spend like the last couple of minutes trying to adjust it. So I think this is about right. I'm a little off center, but whatever. All right, so uh, so I woke up pretty early. Um, yeah, still having a lot more energy than usual, but um, I don't know, still managed to get more sleep last night, so I'll count that as a victory, I guess. Uh, also, maybe could be could because I've reduced my workouts to just basically every other day instead of two days in a row, then rest, then two days in a row again, and then rest. So uh, maybe that's having an uh, impact. Uh, but I'm also reducing what I'm, uh, how many calories I'm taking in as well. So, uh, you know, uh, my body will make the adjustments. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I'm actually uh, coding my game properly. Like I was even able to like, oh, how do I add a delay to um, my fire rate on my game? So uh, I guess I think so. I think maybe the next step is maybe adding sound effects. Every time you fire, it'll play uh, the sound effects this word. So I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Otherwise, I still have to eventually move on to just creating the actual RPG elements. You know, and then of course the UI and all that stuff. So actually, yeah, I probably should work the sound effects. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, and I actually, yeah, I had to spend a couple hours because I wound up running into a lot of different problems. It's like, huh, all right. So and again, I was like starting a little discouraged, but luckily I was able to figure it out because it was also a common problem that other programmers have. It was like, ah, because for some reason I added. An extra, uh, what is it? I added an extra, I don't know, I guess you could say component that shouldn't have been attached. And that's why it was like causing problems, right? I put a component on the bullet that uh, that calls itself. And then that was actually ca uh, ca causing the breakdown in the code. So, yeah. So that was kind of nice. I was able to solve it. All right, so uh, yeah, so uh, so far so good, you know. Yeah, it's like it's so much easier to actually just teach yourself actual coding and then just forget about all the other like add-ons and shit. So, because again, you don't know what's in those add-ons. It's kind of like like when it comes to programming, it's really like cooking. You know, you really have to cook your own food. You can't just eat out all the time. <laughs> so, so uh, so it's uh, interesting. Anyway, uh, very excited. Oh, and then I worked on like using some music. That uh, you know, it, technically it's probably copyright, but for testing purposes, you know, I'm just going to use it myself. It's uh, yeah. Then I actually learned, oh yeah, you have to like cut up your audio so that like there's an intro part and then you there's a looping part, so you can he that's why you keep hearing the same thing over and over because you need to loop it, right? At least in my games, I like having the music loop all the time. So anyway, lots of cool stuff. It's all coming together, and I don't know. Hopefully, um, and uh, hopefully, as I actually learn programming again. I actually see that networking, the code for networking, is the exact same as single player. The difference is you just have to add a specific thing that just says, you know, playfab.instantiate or uh, photonpun.instantiate because, you know, it's the same thing as single player, but you have to now tell the network to tell to everybody else that you're instantiating so everybody in the scene sees it. And that's all that it is. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Oh, yeah, I added uh, special effects to, like, you know, bullet impact. So that was cool, too. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, all I can think about now is the game. Wow. All right, anyway, I want to try to speed through this today. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, so Bitcoin searches for this week have not been released. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, cryptocurrency. Ah, great. Uh, go away. Uh, so cryptocurrency, let's see, it was doing all right. It looks like the pages, some pages are refreshing properly, others are not. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I figured this was wrong. Okay, so yeah, so cryptocurrency continues to do all right. Uh, it's 6462. Uh, the markets are down slightly today, but I mean, we had two days basically in a row of gains, I think it was, or something like that. Because yesterday was a gain, today is. Tuesday and then Friday was another down day too. So yeah, okay. So I mean, I can't expect the markets to go up that much, if at all, simply because you know fundamentals are still too problematic, right? You know, coronavirus situation technically is getting better, but since we're testing more people, we're gonna find a shit ton of more cases, and of course, more people are gonna die from it. So you know, and the lockdown still remains, uh, you know, gonna be in place for a while. 
Bitcoin's at 64.62. Bitcoin dust is at 65.2%. 24 hour run is 114.6 billion. So at least it's not dying yet. You know, Litecoin's at 39 bucks. Um, Doggy coin, 226.3 million market cap. So, you know, it's uh, you know, not too bad. And then let's see, Steam is at 16 cents. Uh, seems to be going down a bit. So, I assume Hive is also going down. So, I mean, I bought some more Steam. Uh, but, you know, since uh, I'm kind of expecting it to continue to go down, you know, maybe waiting a little bit might help. I mean, I, maybe it has something to do with, like, the fork, too, so people are kind of trying to figure out what to do with it. Uh, Remel, at least, is kind of stable. For some interesting reason, in pre-market trading, Remel was at, was up, like, you know, 50 cents. Now it's more normal. So as long as Remel just doesn't simply go bankrupt and then just, like, dies, um, you know, well, we'll, we'll, we'll be pretty good. Uh, home price growth accelerated at the start of 2020. All right, so so good news is the demand for stuff is still there. Uh, the problem is coronavirus really put a damper on things, and of course, uh, people seem to still be getting mad about coronavirus. You know, especially particularly Christians, right? You know, um, but uh, it really is. Hmm, why does something smell like Jello? But uh, it really is a um. Yeah, I'm really thinking this could be like, you know, uh, the plague, right? Just like when God cursed Egypt, right? You know, and did the plague frogs, the plague of something, and then ultimately the black mist that killed the firstborn anyone, unless they did some sort of spray painting thing on their houses to, to you know, keep them safe or something like that. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's... stocks fall. What is that weird smell? Well, this is not as annoying. Ugh, jeez. Alright. It's so annoying. This is why I fucking hate my neighbors sometimes. Alright. So, anyway. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything particularly here. Uh, oh, here we go. Now, now, now Rimmel's uh, tanking. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, I hate using these proxies. It's such shit. Uh, three, five, six. Yeah, I mean, for the most part... Like, I'm still expecting this shit to just, you know, not do so well. I see now, yeah, this Remel is really volatile right now. But, um, yeah, I mean, rent's due basically tomorrow. Like, I actually got an email from my landlord. He said, there's no rent freeze, so you're all obligated to pay, uh, <laughs> pay rent. But we'll try to work with you, you know. I mean, I'm under a rent control. This is a rent controlled building, or at least my apartment is. So, I mean, there's not really much more to do. Uh, I do know that there's an eviction freeze, so you can't get kicked out, so you could just not pay rent, and then I think that may or, there might be a credit freeze in New York City, I'm not sure. And in my case, I'm still paying the rent anyway, so whatever, but, you know, um, yeah, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not most people, I would imagine, so I'm pretty sure real estate's going to be taking a hit. Um, so we're just going to have to wait and see what happens pretty much tomorrow, starting tomorrow, and then later on in the week, because then... All the data will start coming out. Uh, JMC is at 6 to 7, the usual. Four, uh, 404, 6 to 7 as well. Um, doing pretty well. And 2x2 two two is 64 to 68, or 63 to 68, rather. I've noticed that um, it's becoming significantly more difficult to uh, mine 2x2 two two coins. So uh, I don't know if the difficulty formula is still the same as 404 since they basically copied and forked the code from that uh but obviously the stronger the stronger this is that hairspray but it smells a little bit like jello um the more um actually you know what uh i'm gonna check the weather oh great i accidentally hit the steam icon yeah, let's get ready for some light i'm gonna check on chrome of course the temperature right now is 43 degrees yeah i'm not opening it and the heat's on right now so i'd rather have the heat uh god uh but someone did actually open the window that's outside uh where i am oh my god this is why i really hate when i accidentally hit the damn steam icon oh there's a new hero class for shakes and fidget i used to love that game so much the problem is i just can't stand waiting for something to happen and do nothing else I have like a bunch of other casual games i can play now 
So yeah, but anyway, compound coins at 7512 or 7500 essentially to 8820. So compound coins has gotten very strong, but it's also very hard to to mint that. So uh yeah. Uh let's see. Uh changing from blah blah blah. Laws coming for Bitcoin, War Satoshi Client, Craig Wright. Uh yeah, the reason why the law is coming is because of stupid fucks like Craig Wright. So, yeah. Coinbase says retail customers bought Bitcoin during this month's blank. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I would prefer to just buy more crypto, right? If it weren't for me already being in the stock market, I would have just bought more crypto. I would have just stayed away from the stock market. And then I would have just bought maybe $10,000 worth of Rimmel at the bottom when I bought, right? And just played the gambling game. Right, just just not even bother any of the, that shit. But I mean, now I know my lesson, right? Unfortunately, it's already too late. So now I just have to dig in, hope it nothing goes bankrupt, right? Nothing goes to zero, and then uh, you know, once this Corona shit passes, you know, uh, you know, well, 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 I'll definitely make money in the stock market, but it's gonna be a like first, I need to get back my thirty-five grand. Number two, I have to pay taxes on it because that's just how the stupid taxes work. So I lose an additional. 15 20 percent capital gains tax right depending on my income bracket at the day i sell i assume at that probably a multi-millionaire so i'll be paying 20 percent capital gains tax that's the other thing too they say they reduce the capital gains to a rate to 15 percent that's bullshit it, it only applies to people who make up the 450 grand or you know 449k once you above that you still pay the full 20 percent it's like like these these fucking fake news assholes. I wish they would all just shut the fuck up, right? You know, like they'll ban people like me or Alex Jones or Miley Annapolis or Nick Fuentes, but they'll fucking not ban these asshole, these other big mainstream assholes. So it's not about stopping fake news; it's about stopping the competition. So you know, and now they're even deleting tweets by Rudy Giuliani, Charlie Kirk, and Jair Bolsonaro of Brazil over coronavirus shit. So, I mean, it's already begun, right? You know, tech companies are now c controlling the world. It's like, why isn't the, you know, why isn't more people like complaining about that? So, and, and that's the problem. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, Coinbase reports record buying Bitcoin amid March 12th crash. Yes, that makes sense. In fact, I think I was buying. I mean, I don't remember, right? I mean, you can look at the previous videos, but I remember I said I was buying. So that's probably around the same time. Uh, crypto traders see Bitcoin not surging to da, 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 blah blah blah. Of course, Bitcoin's gonna yeah. I mean, crypt everything's gonna go not up for a while until coronavirus situation truly improves, right? You know, we're still, you know, Mario or Mario Andrew Cuomo, right? Is still going, is still going kind of like panic mode, right? He he's starting to like like the emotion of having to deal with coronavirus here in New York is really starting to. Uh, take a toll on him and he's basically like saying yeah this shit's going to get real bad so um oh my god all right i have to open the fucking window this fucking smell is really starting to piss me off it's like what are they doing oh my god and it's going to suck up all the heat in the fucking apartment and i really want the heat too So that's weird. All right, so it might be coming in from the fucking basement, actually, because because I know it's coming from the hallway, right, into the rest of the building. It's actually not coming from there. It's actually coming from this side. So it's probably. I mean, this is the one shitty part about. I better not say it's a security, but basically, there's a hole in the ground because of the you know the heating thing. So. Whatever is whatever's happening below my apartment like seeps in through that little hole because of the radiator. So that's probably what I'm smelling. And it's fucking annoying. Uh, well, so much for all the good heat, right? All right, anyway, PayPal is evaluating blockchain use cases after CEO himself reveals that uh, he owns some Bitcoin. Okay, so it looks like PayPal is getting into the crypto business. So that's good. Of course, it'll still be centralized and they have to track everybody. So I still wouldn't use it. XRP payments platform backed by Ripple launches on App Store, Google Play, blah, 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 Bitcoin signal flashing by. Uh, 
right now I'm just doing nothing. All right, all on, all I care about right now is Remmel, right? You know, if it if it starts, you know, getting a lot cheaper, I'll look into buying it. However, we have to evaluate. Okay, is it going to go bankrupt? You know, that that's that's the flip side. Ah, uh, crypto pizza twelve. Da, 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 da. All right, so I don't really care. Like, there's just nothing here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, other than that, yeah, I guess there's really not really much going on. Uh, yeah, there's actually nothing. Hmm, Fifteen minutes. All right. Uh, great. Yeah, nothing changed here. So we don't actually really have any news then, right? Um. Yeah, it's basically a quiet day as where everyone's just bracing for April 5th. So, I don't know, we kind of need some sort of thumbnail. So, I don't know. I don't know, we'll just use this. You know, we've been using Yahoo Finance a lot lately. So, you know, once this crap is over, hopefully it'll be back to normal. So, if you like what you saw, right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page and um, yeah, let's try and grow this channel. Oh, and thank you to the one person that subscribed. You know, hopefully they'll actually stick around this time. Because uh, funny enough, my bit shoot's been taking a little hit, but I mean, I guess we don't really care too much about that. Like, you can't please everybody, right? So, anyway, quiet day. Um, otherwise, you know, markets are going down after, you know, going up, right? So, you know, eh, we're going to keep an eye on Remmel. Um, but yeah, I mean, rent is going to be due. We still haven't got our Trump bucks checks. So, hmm. Mm. Excuse me. Ah, so, um, I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to, we're, it's basically the calm before the storm because tomorrow and the rest of this week is probably going to be a real shit storm. All right. So, uh, we'll, we'll see. All right. So anyway, stay safe. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. I am personally not doing anything again, right? You know, so yeah. All right, Johnson Chan, GMC coin, 404 coin. Uh, oh, we're going here. So yeah, there's our little thumbnail.